Okay, now now is the second part. Uh, in the first part, we start the project, create the project, and we did the projection. And then after that, we learned how to create headers, will headers, will logs, uh, deviation survey, and formation tops. We learned how to create text files and then transform these text files to <coughs> ALS and then we imported the data and we had our wells that have these well logs this is the global potassium rain of thorium gamma ray and here we have our logs A1 and it has potassium uranium thorium gamma ray total the same thing for E1 the same thing for F1 it has these this is the log sign here it has all these four logs okay for the gamma ray spectral gamma ray and we have the deviation here uh, <clears throat> so everything uploaded and we uploaded uh, well tops which is here we can see it in 2D in the 2D window, well section window. This is Horizon 4, Horizon 3, Horizon 2, Horizon 1. Okay. Oh, this one is 4. Okay, we should take it up. Okay, I should delete this one. Go here. We need this here. We need to learn how to trace or create formation top. So hit on the horizon and then go to edit well top. Okay, you have this screen and then Hit this one, add new well top. There are the ones, add new well top fold, add new well top horizon. So we need add new well top horizon. So just click here, click. I'm clicking randomly just to make it quick, show you how or where to find the <coughs> well top. mistake here should take it up well top and here well top so we created horizon 4 this way okay close this so this is horizon 4 horizon 1 horizon 2 horizon 3 Horizon 5. So for just we need to delete this one. This extra. And we call this for rename it. <coughs> okay, let's keep it as Horizon 5. Okay. <coughs> so we need now to learn how to create surfaces, how to create thickness map how to create structural model and adding lithology. So the first thing from these <coughs> well tops, uh, we create these well tops from our log data. Now we need to create surfaces from these horizons or formations tops that we made. So how to create the, the, the surfaces? Just go to the stratigraphy tab here, select your horizon, let's say we're selecting horizon 1, and then say make surface, hit the make surface tab, and then hit this blue, so horizon 1, because selected will come here, and then <coughs> name the surface, I need to call it surface 1. 
so I'm creating surface surface one here in the suggested setting from input you can choose either well tops points high density or low density I'll choose high density here and then go to the geometry and make it automatic okay and this way apply okay you'll see surface one is created here okay <clears throat> where to see it just hit this one on the 3d window so you see surface one this is the 3d window that okay I just took off the axis and now it's there uh, the elevation is exaggerated you can change it from here like 50 so it's subdued a little bit so we can take the axis off and you see your surface this is the 3d surface we need to create another surface so we need to select horizon 2 <coughs> make a surface and horizon 2 selected add this as input come here delete it ask you want to change the setting of this dialog no and then now we're creating surface 2 high density input and then the geometry is automatic apply ok and now another surface created where to see it go to 3d map you see surface 1 here surface 2 here they look like each other so just do right click settings colors local private color change it to yellow and then apply okay so this surface is yellow surface 2 surface 1 is red so above each other okay they are above each other here surface 1 and surface 2 good so now we learned how to do or create surfaces from well logs now we need to create thickness map to create thickness map we need to use the surfaces not the horizons not the formation tops the surface that we just created and where to go to create to create thickness maps so go to one of these surfaces double click on it and then go to operations from operations go to calculations and then make thickness map we already selected surface one and for the base here in the dialog they need base so select surface 2 for the base hit and now surface 2 is the base of so hit run and then apply okay you supposed to have thickness map here between surface 1 and surface 2 where to see the thickness map go to the <coughs> 2D and click on the surface map you'll see it also you can see it in the 3D if you want so just zoom away <coughs> so this is my thickness map below the surfaces you can hide it you can check it again and see it so now we did a thickness map now we need to create a structural model structural model go to the structural model link here tap and then hit simple grid this simple grid has options go to insert surfaces so what surfaces you want to insert surface one and surface two click select both of them and then go to this one here append not this one below insert items above the append append item in the table okay 
and then go to the geometry we don't have a boundary here go to geometry make it automatic and then here insert it in the geometry automatic so so call it we're creating structural model so Serenica structure okay apply and then hit OK so we need to hide these surfaces and then we need to show our structural model come here under models the lower window here click here click here and then show the skeleton so we have the skeleton here 3d model if you want to see the axis x and y axis you can see it you want to make it larger exaggerate the elevation you can change it from here okay you want to subdue it you can make 20 or 25 50 is good yeah 50 is really good you can change it up to 200 100. so this is <coughs> the structural model of Cernak okay go to here to intersection edges intersection and at the intersection right click and insert random line so this is a random line and axis cutting through the structure so this way we created by this we we created a structural model we created thickness map under here we created surfaces surface one surface two if we just Hide the structural model, we can see the surfaces. Structural model is skeleton covering the. Okay, the surfaces. Now we need to add one more thing. The, we need to add lithologies. Okay, so we need to add lithologies to our. With here, right? Okay, we need to add lithology to our uh, logs in the wall section window. So to find the lithology, go to stratigraphy and then new discrete log, and here choose facies, select it and then okay you see faces here in each log showed up so what to do here just right click and then choose one of your faces here for example sand go all the way and then choose another one for example shape go all the way down and then choose another one for example carbonates carbonates go all the way down so this way now we learned how to add lithologies to each well log or to each log okay and how to create surfaces okay and how to create thickness maps from the surfaces and then how to create structural model from those surfaces and the surfaces themselves are created from <coughs> the surfaces are created from from the wall logs yep. created from the wall logs 
so by this we're done with this tutorial which is the second tutorial that show that based on the first story that shows us how to uh, to create you know project from scratch how to make the projection how to create uh, headers swill logs deviation survey formation tops the second tutorial is the application shows how to create surfaces create thickness maps structure models and adding the followers thank you very much and I hope that tutorial is helpful